Britain's obesity crisis is worse than ever, with children as young as four years old being treated for obesity-related health issues. Now, according to new NHS stats, the number of under-18s being treated in hospital with weight-related issues, including diabetes, high blood pressure, etc., is massively, massively on the rise. So what I want to ask you today is, if four-year-olds are becoming obese, are the parents to blame? Do you think it is the fault of parents? I am joined now by Steve Miller, who is a weight loss expert, and you will all know this guy. He is, of course, the former presenter of the TV show Fat Families, and... The rather inappropriately named, if you don't mind me saying, Tam, Tam Fry, who is the chair of the National Obesity Forum. Thank you very much, both of you. Steve, I, I will start with you. Are parents to blame for fat kids? You've got three groups. You've got a group of parents that do a really great job. You've got a very small group that need a bit of help. And then you've got this group that are bone idle, that would rather just let their kids eat what they want and not do anything about it. So do I believe there is a group of parents out there that are to blame because their kids are too fat? Absolutely. And that might not be politically correct, but from what I observe, it's true. Well, I'd profoundly disagree with uh, Tam, Stephen I'll bring you in on this now. Is it not child yeah. abuse? I, th I think parents obviously have a responsibility to uh, look after their children. However, when it comes to obesity, my view is that the government has done far too little to support them. Uh, we have uh, food which is being given to children, which is far too full of sugar and other ingredients which predispose towards obesity. And the choice is very limited, and parents can only buy what is on offer. And sometimes the food is just less than healthy. And I'm afraid that the government has been told about this time after time after time. It was told in 2007 that parents weren't to blame, and they have done very little about it. And now we're re uh, reaping the consequences of the inaction. Oh, my gosh. Tam, I'm sorry, you can't blame the government for a mother giving her child his seventh quarter pounder of the day. Go on, little Timmy, walk into the shop there, buy yourself a jumbo pack of what's it. Uh, Steve, come on, talk some common sense here. Oh, no, it, 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 you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, Tam loves to blame the government and, and often blames food manufacturers and so forth. There is a big issue in the UK with personal responsibility. And, and whether we like it or not, we have a massive group of parents. Uh, of course, we have a great group of parents that do good work as well. But that massive group of parents that just can't be bothered, they'd rather sit in a fast food restaurant stuffing in the burgers themselves, yeah, as they are also equally over obese and watching their kids do the same and that is unforgivable what i would say to you is you go out onto the street and into some of those fast food restaurants and you will see it happening it's incredible and parents need to remember that they are the role model they are the role model and what i would say is if you're not prepared to look mm. after your child's health including obesity well you shouldn't be having children I think that uh, you, you have a very simplistic Steve, view Steve, I wonder this. whether or not they're not actually the role models. They're the roly-poly models, um, unfortunately. And, and Tam, can I, can I just say, this idea that people save money by giving their kids junk, the last time I walked into the shops, an apple was cheaper than a bar of chocolate. Well, they, 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 <clears throat> they feed their children what they think is OK, but in fact, parents have very little idea of what is good food and what is bad food. And particularly now in the uh, cost of living crisis that we're going through, they go for whatever they can find to feed their children, which is usually ultra-processed food and cheap. And in that way, your children are going to become fat. However responsible you want to be as a parent, the whole of uh, the obesogenic uh, environment in which we live is stacked up against you. It's very easy to blame parents. 
but it is no, much I, more I, difficult to actually I, I prove I think you're that what you're theory. blaming them for I think is you're correct. Talking theory yet again, Tam. You're talking theory yet again because based on what you've just said, all children would be really fat, and they're not. And that the reason not all kids are fat is we do have a, a decent group of parents that do a damn good job, and they do look after their kids' health, and they they do play the role model. They get the kids involved in the cooking. They get the kids involved in serving the food. That's how you do a good job as a parent. But I'm sorry, we have got too many lazy parents. And what is what's happening now? It's putting a lot of kids in hospital. Lazy parenting is putting a lot of kids in hospital due to obesity-related illnesses, and that is unforgivable. No parent wants their child to be in hospital at such a young age. Mm. Yeah, Tam, come on, Tam. of our children are overweight or are fat uh, in the preschool years. Uh, that means that um, they're doing badly. But uh, to blame them for the whole thing, I think, is impossible because children, what is available on food? We have very little knowledge of nutrition. With they can't cook, they have to be uh, supplied with the food from the shelves, and you can't blame them for trying to give their ch children something to eat to to make them full. But you're just you're just handing on a plate. Excuse the pun such a load of excuses, which is just completely inaccurate. We have never had so much information on nutrition. If you go on to Google and you do a search for good nutrition, you'll, you'll probably find about three million results. And, and, you know, most people nowadays, parents included, do have access to that level of information, whether we like yeah, it or the not. Problem is, or if they don't parents, understand what, is be, what they are reading on the net, then they won't actually take any um, uh, profit from it. Uh, parents mainly, 75% um, of them, probably do a good job. But the 25% who are not doing a good job are, 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 are unable to do, unable to stand what is good new, nutrition. Uh, they can't cook because they've never been taught to cook. So they have to do whatever they can. And in their ignorance, I'm afraid they're giving their children the wrong food. But the government, well, in right. my view... You're right. You've, you've said it yourself, they're being say. ignorant to it. And so what that 25% of people have got to do is actually take responsibility, look what's going to be good for the kids, obviously practice the cooking. You know, there's got to be solutions, Tam. Mm. We can't just keep blaming the government and we can't just give in, keep giving a load of beautiful excuses on a plate. Those days have got to finish. This is now putting people kids in hospital. Like, people like me have been trying to get the government for 25 years to actually make it possible for people to bring up their children in a healthy manner in their preschool years. We were assured by the Queen in her last Queen speech that things were going to actually take, um, go in that direction. But not one thing has been done to actually improve the environment for those children who are being overfed by their parents. Sam, and I right, hold Sam. their parents right. not responsible for that. Oh. Okay, now, Steve, look, Steve, let me come in here. I'm, I'm just going to give the last word to you on this, Steve. I've got to be honest with you, the kind of parent that Tam is describing there is someone who, reading between the lines, for what I've had to phrase, uh, can't read all right and is so thick that they don't know what fruit and veg looks like. I mean, the question mark I would have now is whether or not they should be having kids. Oh, totally. I said this earlier on, that you know what you've got to do? You've got to think before you have children. Children are a responsibility, and that includes their health. If you're not prepared to look after their health, and, and that includes delivering great nutrition for your kids, do not have them. It has been advised by the government time okay, after... Both of you, thank you very, very much. Good, good, strong, spirited stuff. That's enough, I'm afraid. Tom Fry there of the National Obesity Forum and Steve Miller as well, who is of Fat Notice and the former presenter of the wonderful TV show Fat Families. Where are you on that debate? Get your emails coming in. GBviews at gbnews.uk. Who do you blame for fat kids?